Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, it's kind of late at night. I'm going to try to be quiet. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm probably the loudest reader out here, you guys. Anyway, um, I felt a disturbance in the force, Cancer. Um, so, I'm just checking your energy. And honestly, I'm also getting a song for you guys. I, um, yeah, I'm not sure who does it, though. Anyway, just take what resonates, Cancer. Leave the rest behind, okay? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you for being up with me late at night, you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, I love you, Cancer. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Everybody new here. Hi, I'm Mammy Becca. All right, so um, the song I'm getting for you is anticipation yeah um who does that you guys i should know this one um i want to say it's carly simon because i'm hearing somebody like shouting it out to me i don't know if that's right or not though so drop a comment you guys if you know who sings that song um but yeah that is what it feels like do you know what it feels like to me is like a an animal stuck in a cage um, climbing the walls, right? Somebody's really antsy. Um, somebody is having some anxiety. You know, here's the thing. What I'm picking up on here with the signs and synchronicities, um, messages from the universe, right? I feel like you can both, you both know something is about to happen. Like you both know it. I feel like you can feel it too, Cancer, that I'm, I, I, I don't know. I feel like it's your energy keeping me up here tonight, this person's energy keeping me up. Um, I feel like it's both. So you could be seeing a lot of repetitive signs, um, numbers, right? One, 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 two, two, two. Um, you could be seeing this person or hearing this person's name being mentioned on like TV ads, things like that. You could be seeing their car or someone who owns the same kind of car driving around. You may even see this person like driving past your house. Okay, I've been picking up a lot on um, they're trying to find you or they're literally like staking out the place. Okay, um, so this person, they're definitely spying on you here. It says spying. You could be online dating. This person could see you online because it looks like they're upset about something that they see. I just feel like um, they know that you two are about to come face to face or have, a, have communication. It's driving this person crazy. Like they can't sleep at night, Cancer. I feel like both of you guys are keeping me up. <laughs> You know, and this could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. Um, you know, this is a, a soul contract. Okay, uh, you guys have been together before in past lives. You may be getting some dreams too. Both of you, both of you, I feel, are getting dreams, signs, feelings. I mean, I feel like the anxiety and no, what is it again? Anticipation is through the roof. Like it's so close. You guys know something is about to happen. Um, yeah, you could be dreaming about this person or they're dreaming about you. I have something about the dreams too. Yeah, the, you know what? This person is freaking out also because you're moving on or you're trying to. I, I feel like your mind is still on this person, I got to say. They're feeling pretty heartbroken. Something that you're posting online has this person pretty shook, okay? You know, they're watching you through social media. They're seeing that you're, you, I wanted to say moving away. So maybe some of you could have moved if you, you could have moved, for those of you who have moved, you could have been moving um, to someplace else in the world. Like I'm feeling like a long distance kind of thing here. But they're thinking that, you know, this is it. Jeez, if you're moving away, that's it. You mean business, you're cut off game, you know, you're just sick of it. 
You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, everything here is about to change, okay? You're getting messages from the universe, both of you, that this situation is about to change. I'm getting the feeling that the universe is, the, the divine is lining everything up just so. Like everything is being aligned. Um, and you are closing out an old cycle and beginning a new one. But this person, they really want to come back around to start this new cycle with you. You can feel it too, Cancer. I, I got to say. I mean, you may not want this person back. You know, I'm hearing somebody say, no, 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 no. <laughs> right? Because they've broken your heart. You know, I feel like they put you in possibly a third party situation. They put you through a lot of heartache. This person betrayed you. You had a good heart for this person before they stuck a bunch of swords in it. And now it's them feeling this heartache. And your life is changing too with the world card coming under, underneath change. Um, this person is seeing how much you've changed and the effort that you put in. They're also, I, I'm getting that for someone, this person is kind of in awe and just fascinated at how quickly you've changed your life, right? But I feel like it's because you were on a divine path. See, um, you've learned your lessons on this last journey. And I feel like spirit was the only one with you you know, helping you through the heartache and betrayal you went through. I mean, spirit, I feel like they've led you. The universe has seen, too, all the effort you put in. So I know you've had a lot of spiritual backing here, okay? And spirits put you up high on a pedestal. So, um, yeah, I feel like this, this person doesn't want it over, but you have changed, man. Uh, I feel like they had you in heartache, and now you're very balanced. You're really not in your emotions, but yet at the same time, you can feel this change about to happen. Something is about to happen, okay? And this, I feel it could, it's either a deep level soulmate connection, like a really intense connection, or it's a twin flame, Okay? You could be like you could have recently moved and this and uh, this person could see like pictures that you're posting of your home or you're mentioning moving to some place in the world. If you have some kind of public platform as well um, and you work on the Internet, you could go wherever you want in the world as long as there's Internet. So for someone here, you're moving quite a distance away from this person, not for all of you right? No matter what it is that you're doing, you're making boss moves out here um, courageously, confidently, and this person's seeing it, and they're, um, they're like an animal in a cage, you know? This could also be jail. Yeah, I, so some, for someone, your person is in jail. I looked up, and the movie that's playing on my TV, you guys, it's an older movie, and it's called Can't Hardly Wait. I'm telling you, that anticipation of you two coming together. Maybe this is somebody who could be getting freed from jail here shortly. If that's, if that's so, they're coming straight to you. The anticipation is through the roof. Okay, it's literally driving them berserk. Yes, it's all true. It's driving them berserk. Okay, they're in a lot of pain, man. I, I don't know. It feels like they're kind of holding back here. Um, maybe they're getting an understanding of divine timing as well. They can possibly, especially if this is a divine masculine, you guys, they are extremely intuitive. Okay, they feel the same kind of vibes you feel. And um, yeah, it's, especially if this is a divine being, this person is like they're they're um, they have this deep 
understanding though, now at least, that spirit is lining everything up, that, that there's a, there's a um, divine timing behind this, okay, is really what I'm picking up on. Because I'm, I am feeling they're holding themselves back, holding themselves back, holding themselves back to the point where they can't take it. It's very painful. Like, it's excruciating for this person to not come towards you at this point. Like, for real. Anticipation. Anticip Who sings that song, you guys? Is it Carly Simon? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I feel like this is what they want. They want to come in like a knight in shining armor, like a hero, right? Woohoo, you know? I feel like um but but they're not quite ready yet. Now they're showing me an easy bake oven. Okay. <laughs> Um, you remember Easy Bake Ovens, man, right? And it was hard to wait for that cake to come out, man. You sat there and you watched it through the little window, you know, and then the, it would ding, the little alarm would go off, the little bell would go off, and you knew it was ready. Then you had to wait for it to cool down before you put the icing on. I mean... Um, all you wanted to do was eat it, right? I, that's this anticipation, you know? I feel like this person is waiting for that little ding. They're waiting for that moment where spirit says, go now, you know? <laughs> Smacks the horse on the butt and the, and the person takes off. Um, you're their wish fulfillment. They're really hoping, Cancer, that they can win your love back. This person is going to want to prove themselves to you. Okay, I am also seeing someone who's getting freed from jail, just so you know. And that's not for all of you, but this could be somebody who maybe um, drinks a lot or um, maybe they're known for that. They've had third parties. Yeah, here they come to apologize, Cancer. Telling you, if this person is getting freed from jail or prison, they're going to be coming directly to you. All right? Yeah, look, I, I feel like they're getting freed. Freed from jail or freed from something. Okay, this person could have, it could either be jail or maybe they were stuck in possibly another relationship. Okay, this person could have had a lot of burdens, whereas. Maybe at the time, the, you know, the, these could be financial burdens, things like that, bad health. This person could need to heal from something. They maybe needed to work on their finances so that they could come towards you. I don't know. They were stuck in something, either jail. I, th I feel like it's either jail or a karmic situation, okay? But now they're getting themselves free. Okay, this is getting themselves free. And this is, this is also universe telling them now is that time. This is an opportunity being handed to them or opening up for them. Okay. So here they come, right? This wheel starts turning. This to me in this reading, it acts like a wild card. All right. <laughs> Anything can happen at this point, and something is about to happen, and this is huge amounts of change here with the Wheel of Fortune. So, yes, Cancer, um, this person is coming towards you. You can feel it. It's not in your imagination, okay? Um, if you can feel a big change is about to happen or something's about to happen, you can feel that anticipation. It is not your imagination, Cancer. You're absolutely correct, okay? Soulmate connection here coming, and Cancer, here you are. Look at that stance. You are ready. You're ready, okay? You know this person is about to approach you with an apology, like, um, yeah, it could happen at any time now, any time, okay? I feel like you're fully prepared, or at least... You think you are. I, you know, I got to say, Cancer, when you see this person face to face, um, it may bring back some painful memories. It may shake you up. 
I, I feel like both of you have changed. This person has changed. Their looks have probably changed as well, drastically. Um, the stress alone is going to drain this person, okay? But you're like ready, and you know just what you want to say. You know, it's looking to me like you've got the sword up. You're like, all right, I'm ready. Now is the time. You know, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cancer. You're ready for this communication. You know. Yeah, this person's looks have changed, Cancer. This person, if they were middle-aged or something before, I don't know. They're turning, like, prematurely gray, okay? Um, they could have gained a lot of weight. This person could be um, low on their finances as well. I mean, I'm just seeing the comparison between the two. But they are in love with you, Cancer. You're all that they can think about. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like in the past, this person withheld love from you. They never told you how they truly feel about you, Cancer. And you're about to hear how they really, really feel about you. They're going to confess everything. They're going to apologize. They're going to ask you for another chance. You know, and they can't, they can't hardly wait. Yes, this is, <laughs> this is that anticipation, feeling antsy, right? Um, having all this energy and um, feeling like they need to hold themselves back right now. This is them barely being able to stand it, okay? Um, I'm telling you, they can't hold out much longer. <laughs> They're just waiting for the go-ahead from the universe, all right? They're just waiting for the universe to say, okay, go for it. And honestly, I've got, um, I've got all the aces out here except the Holy Grail cup of love. And that's because they don't know if they're going to get that blessing back. See, in the Nine of Cups energy cancer, this person really just has a wish. It's not going to get fulfilled for them unless you give them your cup. Okay, it, unless you love them the way you did before or they see a chance, a slim chance that you could love them again. That's the only way they're getting their wishes fulfilled is if they have your love. They don't know if they're going to have that yet, but they're, they're going to come in and talk. This person's gotten clarity. They want the second chance with you, a new beginning, and they're climbing the walls. The anticipation is driving this person berserk. Yeah, see, there's that Ace of Cups that they want so bad. They had it one, at one point. They turned their nose up at it. They mistreated you. They mishandled you. They lost you. Okay? Now they want it back. They see what they missed. That Ace of Cups is the only, th is the only Ace missing on this table. Okay? Yeah. It's the only ace that's missing. Because they don't know if you're going to give them another chance. Because they walked away from you before, ghosted you for no reason. Yep, and they're thinking this has come to an end. This is also, though, transformation, you guys. I'm telling you, something's going to change here. Um, but yeah, they, they want their empress back. They want you back, Cancer, okay? I'm not taking those. I just happened to drop the deck, you guys, so <laughs> that was where it was at the split, okay? All right, give me one more for Cancer. So this person's about to come forward, Cancer. You can feel it. They can feel it. They can't take it anymore. They're going to be dropping these burdens, okay? And then you're going to get that action, that communication. I'm telling you. There's a big change coming, okay? And you can feel it. They can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> you know, in the middle of the night, right? Yeah, I feel like this is their energy. They're just obsessed about you. 
can't stop thinking about you. They can feel this energy around them. Okay, they know something is about to happen. I'm that's just the feeling I'm getting. I could say a lot about this combo, but um, and you could feel it too. You could be in that Eight of Swords energy, just knowing that this person's about to approach. Okay, at any moment they could be ringing your doorbell. Yep, and it's going to be very sudden as well. Okay, and if we're talking about this person's obsession for you, because that's what this is, that is exactly what this is, they can't take it anymore with the tower. Spirit's going to let them know with a tower, uh, a tower moment, a bolt of lightning, right, that it's time to come in, it's time to drop these burdens, it's time to make it right. I'm telling you it's going to happen any second. <laughs> oh, Cancer, get ready. I feel like, you know what, that's stupid for me to say. Honestly, you guys are ready. I think you've been ready. You're like, bring it, you know? <laughs> bring it. Go ahead and show up on my doorstep. I got a lot to say, you know? And they know that that's what you're going to do, okay? But they're taking action anyway. You could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius. I've got Capricorn out here as well. It could be really anyone. Leo, Aries, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is in here too. So it could be any sign. But this person knows they can't, lay, they can't just keep laying here thinking about this anymore. They know that they have to strategically plan their communication with you, Cancer, because you're in Queen of Swords energy. You want the truth. And I feel like you're ready to speak yours, right? You're ready to speak your truth. So they have to handle this carefully. They can't just, um, they can't just fly in, shooting from the hip, right? Um, saying whatever, you know, tripping themselves up, whatever. They're really putting a lot of thought into what they're going to say because they know they've got one chance to get it right. And you, that's if you even give them a chance to talk. But I feel like you will. I feel like you will, Cancer. Okay, so get ready, my darlings. A big change is about to happen. Yep, I feel like you're ready. You've got your boundaries up. You know what you're worth. Um, you know your value here. You're a high-value individual. Okay, you, you're going to be demanding respect. The second this person steps out of line with you, man, that is it. <laughs> Cancer, I really feel like they're scared. They're not, they have a lot of anticipation, anxiety, but I feel like they're also fearful of you because um, you've got every right to speak your mind about how you were treated, you know? You're going to be standing up for yourself here, Cancer. Oh, yeah. And you're going to be demanding respect from this person. Commanding it, okay? Commanding respect. Oh, boy, Cancer, you are ready for this communication, I'm telling you. You may not, um, some of you may not even want to talk to this person. It says, don't wait for me, please. I feel like this person's coming in. I don't feel like you have to wait much longer anyway. I cry at night. Yeah. No one understands me but you. I wish to be like you. I can't take it anymore. Yeah. They can't take it anymore. This is that anticipation, my darlings. Yeah, the heat between us is intense. I'm afraid to lose you. Yeah, you were hurt bad by this person. What else can you show me for cancer? It's dark without you. I can't do this right now. Um, yeah, I just feel like this person can't keep, they can't just keep watching you. They can't just keep sitting around on their butt. 
They can't watch you leave their life. They're afraid to approach you. That's something that um, really worries and scares this person is what you're going to say to them. I feel like they don't want to they don't want to hear how you feel about them because it's the truth. OK, um, yeah, so they're a bit afraid, but cancer they're they're going to be coming towards you. OK, I'm telling you. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm going to take this over to Patreon. I want to look into the Mixed Emotions deck. I want to pull some more tarot, see what's going to happen during this communication, okay? Um, and I know that you're already, like, you know it's coming. You know it's coming, and it can happen at any moment, Cancer. So you're standing here with the sword, like, bring it, like, for real. You're ready, for this communication okay anyway if you're interested in the extended there's a link to follow in the description box below cancer that'll take you straight to patreon and um, I hope this helps I hope it resonates like and subscribe to the channel you guys if you like this vibe right and until next time cancer take care of you and peace out